In this particular lesson, we're going to discuss about spread triads. We have several ways to do that. I would suggest to start uh, using this basic structure here, that is C, G, and E. So if you know the drop two, uh, C major seven, you just remove the B note and you get the spread triad. So you're gonna have C, G, and E. So root, fifth, and third. And we want to try also the first inversion, so E, C, and G. So one, two, and another one starting from the G. So G, E, and C up here. So all together it sounds like this. There are several ways to do spread triads on the guitar. I would suggest to experiment different set of strings. Let's try another one. This is uh, first inversion starting with the E, so still C major, but in this position, okay? So it's the same as this, but down here on this set of strings, so D, G, and E. So it'll be like this. Then we go up to this, with a G on the bass, and then reposition. So now we have one, two, and three, and we want to try also this, this, and this. Here's another common one. Let's say E, C, and G. So you have this, okay? And then we want to move to this one, right? So E on the bass, first inversion, the G on the bass, second inversion, and then we want the root position up here. And we can practice this triad here, also like this, of course. You know, same, same notes. And then up here, with E on the bass, the first inversion. So eventually, you're gonna get this, 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 and up here with the E on the bass. Remember that you can play this one like this. So these are the common shape we want to use. And I would suggest to try, of course, the minor, the diminished, and the augmented triad. Let's try the augmented triad first, because it's very easy. You get the same shape moving up in major third. So you have this, starting from C, from E, and from G sharp. Okay, so exactly the same shape. So eventually, we want to start in this position here. So we have E, um, C, and G sharp. Maybe I would use this fingering here. Then I move up to G sharp, and up to C, same fingering. Then I want to try here, so G sharp, E and C, and I move this up to C, and move this up to E. So you're gonna get one, two, three. Same, exactly the same shapes. Let's move to the minor trials. So I have this, okay, C, G, E flat, then I go here, and then I go up here. Then I will try from here, E flat, C and G, here, and here. So try to name this chord. So eventually you'll name this as a C minor with the E flat on bass. So C slash E flat. And then we have this, like C minor slash G and reposition and eventually want to try also up and active. Then we have this shape here, G, E flat, and C on top. Uh, let's move to C, G, and E flat. Okay, and then we move to E flat, C, and G. But eventually, uh, you, you, want to, you want to try also maybe E flat, C and G on top. So eventually get this sound and perhaps um, changing fingerings. We want also to try this set of string E, D and G because it's more easy. Um, talking fingerings, it's more easy to play this one. So eventually we want to try the minor like this. So let's say major and minor, right? Then we want to try uh, the same here up here, 
Okay, C major, and we want to go minor, so looking for the E, just moving down an half step. And the last one is E, C, and G, and the minor, like this. So we want to experiment all of them. Major, minor, major, major, minor, major, major, minor, major. So this particular fingering is much easier for your left hand. Let's move to the diminished. So now we have to think about the minor, just replacing the G to G flat, and we have this. Okay, we move here. This is kind of a stretchy one because we have E flat, C, and G flat on top. So we want to um, maybe replace the C here with the C here. So it's much more comfortable to play like this instead of doing this. Okay, so we want to replace the C on the on the fourth string on the and replace with the C on the third string. We have this, this, and this. Big stretch also here, but we, we can replace the G flat with the G flat here, and we have the same sound. Moving to the next string set, we have this. Also, this is kind of a stretch one, and we want to try this. Okay, and we want to try the reposition, and eventually the same up an octave, like this one. And then down here, G flat, E flat, and C, and then we have C, G flat, and E flat, and the very last one is E flat, C, and G flat up here. So now we have an overview on spread triads and on shapes, position, but take your time to understand them and to learning them. Here I would suggest to practice triads like chords. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, so reposition, first inversion, second inversion, and reposition. And then try B minor, okay? Same for E. Then I'll try F major. And then a G major. A minor. Yeah, so A, B diminished, and back to C. And here, descending with this, and here I'm also playing uh, this, okay, like G, E, C, and eventually go up here and here. So have fun with Triad and I will see you on Spread Triads Part 2.